Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to English class with Ma'am Cleo. Before going to our lesson, let us first take a look at our learning targets. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify the different kinds of pronouns in their antecedents and determine the appropriate pronoun to be used in a sentence. Now let's begin the discussion. Nouns name people, places, things, ideas, or feelings. However, it is awkward and unnatural to repeat the same nouns when we write sentences. To make our sentences more natural, we use pronouns instead. Pronouns are words used to replace nouns in sentences. The noun that the pronoun replaces is the antecedent. Take a look at this example. Valentino won a trophy in the marathon. He brought it to class yesterday. He and it are pronouns used to replace the nouns Valentino and trophy respectively. These pronouns are called personal pronouns because they replace proper and common nouns. To make sure that we use the pronouns correctly, we need to know the following. Number, gender, case, and person. Number refers to singular and plural. Gender refers to feminine, masculine, and neuter. She, her, and hers are feminine pronouns. He and his are masculine pronouns. It is a neuter pronoun. Personal pronouns may be used in different ways in a sentence. It may be used as a subject or object, or it may show possession. These are what we refer to as cases pronouns. Let's study these examples. He registered for the marathon. He is a pronoun and the subject of the sentence. Hence, the pronoun is in the subjective case. Marion registered us for the marathon. The pronoun us is used as the direct object of the sentence. Therefore, the pronoun is used in the objective case. My new shoes are for the marathon. My is the pronoun used in the sentence and it shows ownership. Thus, it is in the possessive case. Personal pronouns may refer to the speaker, the one spoken to, or the one talked about. Look at the table to see the list of personal pronouns. Aside from personal pronouns, there are also words used to show others the location of the nouns we are talking about. These are what we call demonstrative pronouns. Examples of which are this, these, that, and those. This is a beautiful flower. These are beautiful flowers. That is a walking shoe. Those are running shoes. As I've said, pronouns are important in order to avoid the awkward repetition of nouns in sentences. Let's practice what we've learned with this short exercise. Grab your English Language Power 5 book and something to write with. Open to page 56 and answer exercise 1C. Pause the video now to answer. As always, great job finishing this video. Don't forget to check your Schoology account for activities about this lesson. Once again, this has been English Class with Mom Cleo.